Hi, Michael from Invarium here, and welcome to the video covering what's new in the Rapid Plan and Rapid Path 4.2 software update. We're pleased to announce the release of a long-awaited capability, exporting your plans to CAD files. Additionally, an exciting new Google Maps feature, the ability to add location-specific plan comments, a couple of new tool styles in your tools palette, and the ability to save custom print region sizes for future use. Let's take a look at CAD export first. In version 4.1, we made improvements to the CAD import process through a new import panel and the ability to utilize georeferencing data to automatically scale and position CAD files over the base map. If you missed this update, please note that you can review it in the 4.1 update video linked below. It's worth noting that a slight adjustment was made to the georeferenced import option, changing it from a blue globe icon to a labeled checkbox. With version 4.2, we've introduced the ability to export to CAD formats for times when your traffic management plans need to be integrated with other CAD designs. To do this, once you've created your traffic plan, simply go to File, Export, and choose CAD Export. When the save window appears, you can select between saving your plan in DWG or DXF formats. Then you're ready to import that file into your CAD software or share it with whomever needs a CAD version of your plan. Now, let's take a look at what's new with Google Maps. We've updated the Google Base Map properties to separate the provider from the information shown, labeled annotations, allowing you to toggle between Google's satellite and road maps more easily while maintaining the selected level of information. For Microsoft and ArcGIS base maps, you'll still see the satellite and hybrid options available in your provider's menu. For Google, you can select between satellite and road maps, then choose what level of annotation you would like to see on the map, including none, light, and full. None just shows the road map, while light shows the road names and public transport stops. Full shows the same information displayed on light, but also includes other Google labels, such as nearby businesses or places of interest. 4.2 also brings support for a new Google map layer, Road Level Details. This is a new service from Google and still only available in select locations, such as highways or larger city areas. But where available, it displays lane markings and curb lines in an existing road map view type. For example, if we look at this intersection in Los Angeles and switch to Google's road map, we can see lane markings now appear. To see if this is available in your work location, simply locate your worksite on a plan and switch to Google's roadmap, then it will automatically appear if it's currently available. On a related note to base maps, you can now add location-specific comments to plans stored in your Invariant Cloud. You still have the existing section for general plan comments visible through the Invariant Cloud. However, instead of describing the exact part of the plan your comment's about, you can now pinpoint your feedback with location-based plan comments. When sharing your base map plan via share link, note that you can skip the step of importing aerial photos. Just leave the preview map enabled and any plan commenters will be able to see it through the share link automatically. Just as a reminder, in order for someone to be added to your plan as a commenter, that person will need to have an Invarian username. An Invarian profile can be set up at no charge on our website by clicking the sign up now option under the account section in the top right. They do not need an active license in order to leave comments on your plan. As for other changes in version 4.2, there are two new styles available for infrastructure tools in your tools palette, a new ladder style for crosswalks and a tails setting for your marked path tool. After adding a crosswalk to your plan, you can toggle between the available styles in the properties palette. If there's a certain type you use more often than others, note that you can change the default setting for this tool. The Mark Path tool has always looked like a continuous line with arrowheads placed along it pointing in the same direction. We have not removed this setting for those who prefer it, but we've included a new option called Tails, which separates the continuous line and instead shows a series of arrows pointing in the same direction. Like the crosswalk style, just place the Mark Path tool on your plan and choose the Tails setting from the properties, noting that this too can be saved as the default style if preferred. Lastly, we've introduced the option to save custom print region sizes for future use. While you could previously select the option to customize a print region's dimensions, this needed to be done each time you wanted to add a custom print region. Now you can click on the pencil icon above your print regions list, which will display the edit window for print region sizes, wherein you can add custom print region sizes for future use. 
just input the dimensions and name your print region size, then click Save for future use. In this edit window, you'll also see red X's next to the existing print regions, including the presets, which can be used to remove that size from your list. This concludes the video covering what's new in Rapid Plan and Rapid Path version 4.2. Thanks for watching, and please be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest Keratin Varian.